There were a pair of Olympic curlers on the second sheet of the Portage Curling Club on Thursday, March 19th, but maybe not the ones you'd expect. This is Patrick McDonald. He's a U.S. Army veteran who lost the use of his legs almost 18 years ago in Operation Desert Storm. This is Augusto Perez, but everyone calls him Goose. He's a native of Madrid who moved to the United States in 1991 for his senior year of high school and ended up staying when he was offered a soccer scholarship from Paul Smith's College in upstate New York. He lost his left leg to cancer in 2003. The two have come together, along with three other disabled curlers, to form the U.S. wheelchair curling team that is set to compete in the 2010 Paralympics in Vancouver, British Columbia. They're joined by teammates James Joseph, Jacqueline Kapanowski, and James Pierce. The team is coached by former Olympian and curling legend Steve Brown, along with Portage's Rusty Scheiber. Wheelchair curling made its debut at the 2006 Paralympic Winter Games in Torino as a medal event after its success at the World Championships in January 2002 in Scotland. The sport itself is similar to the curling you see anywhere else. Competition takes place between two competitors from each of the two teams. Stones are thrown by hand or by the use of a stick towards a target at the opposite end of the ice. The main difference in wheelchair curling is there is no sweeping and obviously only competitors in wheelchairs are allowed to compete. The U.S. team has seen steady improvement over the years. The team finished 8th out of 8 teams at the, at the 2006 Paralympics, but took 3rd at last year's world competition, the first time a U.S. wheelchair curling team had medaled. The team looked on its way to another bronze medal this year, but a fluke shot in the final end by the German team put the Americans at 4th. McDonald and Perez are on opposite ends of the wheelchair curling spectrum. This is McDonald's second year of curling, and although he technically made the team as an alternate, it isn't at all unlikely that he will see some time on the ice. So, um, what was it about curling that appealed to you? Um, I know it sounds corny, but uh, I saw it on TV and it looked pretty cool. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, uh, that, and I'm a golfer, so... Okay. Uh, and, and from what I'm understanding from these guys and stuff, that uh, I guess the, the actual organized plane of curling was uh, just like golf in, right. from Scotland. So. Yeah. That kind of, you know, flowed. Sure. He may be a relative newcomer to the sport, but he certainly is not a newcomer to competing in a wheelchair. He's an athlete who owns his own golf business that includes making sets of clubs to be swung from the seated position, along with other equipment that allows those with disabilities to, quote, be out there doing the things they love. He's the number one rated wheelchair golfer in the country and holds the record for the world's longest drive at 358 yards, he said. Golfing and curling and being active is an important part of his life. Uh, I just, uh, sorry, I get choked up a little oh, bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, no, no not that, not how I got hurt. It's just about life, even before I got hurt. Um, negativity stagnates, positivity generates. <laughs> and uh, I just, life is everything, man. It's, I, my mom and dad say that I never really changed because um, shortly after rehab, my rehab was three, four, five, almost six months, and um, pretty much about a month after I got out of rehab, um, I was climbing ladders to the roof and was trying to help paint my mom's house oh, and stuff okay. like that. So they, once they saw that and stuff, and I've ridden dirt bikes and stuff, um, they realized that it wasn't really, uh, I changed any, right. you know, um, day by day, and, you know, it's just, <laughs> it's, it's awesome. Right. Just li I can't wait to wake up, you know? It's just, life is cool. And, um. Perez, the team skip, and the 2008 USA Curling Male Athlete of the Year, began curling in 2006, six years after he was diagnosed with leiomyosarcoma, a rare form of cancer, and three years after losing most of his left leg. Although if you ask him, his leg isn't lost, rather it's in a box in his Syracuse, New York basement. Perez has maintained a sense of humor through the years. Just try asking him if playing sports has helped him return to feeling normal. Just to play sports, yeah. I was never normal even with two legs. <laughs> no, it was actually, I think it was better off for my wife. Because I've been always really active. I, I was miserable at home. Because I get cranky if I don't do sports and I was driving my wife insane. Mm -hmm. And once I start doing disabled sports again, now she complains that I'm out too much because I also do a rigged canoe in the summer. So I have to work a deal with her that I'll do one winter sport, one summer sport. So. Both relish the chance to represent the United States on the world stage. It's awesome. Just, just the fact that uh, 
only five people get to go out of, what is it, 300 million, 270 million, where are the odds, probably the same odds of me getting cancer. Right. So, but this one is much more fun and, and for me it's even more because I actually, I am, I am a citizen by choice. I think my wife is a citizen by birth. I had the choice to get my Spanish citizenship or to take U.S. citizenship, and I did. And I took it in a, two months after I lost my leg. And it seems like things came turn around. I have twins the following year. I make the team USA the following year, and it's been ever since that way. And I actually, besides being able to represent the U.S. in the winter uh, uh, games, I also represent them on the outrigger canoe at the Summer uh, World Championship last year in California. So it's, 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 it's really neat. It's a uh, thing that not many people can say that they, they did. And I'm proud to do it. I love it. I love doing it. Let's see if I can do this without choking up. <laughs> uh, Basically, it, it, it means everything. You know, I, <laughs> this means I get to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't gotten choked up like this in a long time. Yeah, take your time. Uh, but, yeah, anyway. I, I did it before, and to to be in the military uh, is just, I mean, it's it's an honor, and now I get to do it again, uh, and, you know, just show that the, you know, the USA is a, you know, pretty darn good place to live. Yeah. I'm cool, I just, it, it is that, and I think it's, it's, uh, it, it's hard to, uh, I don't know, I guess it's hard to explain, you know, how you feel uh, when something means so much to you. Uh, but these guys here, they, they, they make it a lot easier because uh, they are so nice and uh, they're, they're good people. Wisconsin isn't half bad. Yeah. <laughs> and I finally got to see some cows today after six times of coming. Oh, yeah? Yeah.